to me, in the other segment we were talking, Stacy and I were saying that, or he said, that uh, when Michael was under the sedation of some sort, he slurred, but he sounded, the voice was sounding like Joe Jackson. And what do you make of that statement? Is there anything to well, that? I think it's really important what Stacy brought up because what I think is that for Michael Jackson, being a child, being loved, and all of his erotic desires were all fused. So when he went in front of the camera or he, he knew people were listening, he adopted the high voice. To him, that was his obsession, was being a little boy. Mm -hmm. When he was drugged, he dropped the high voice. When you're in a, in a high intoxicated state, you drop your persona, right? Uh -huh. So his real voice came out. That was kind of shocking. Well, and, and the other thing about it, too, yeah. Joy, is that people talk about his, his plastic surgery and his wanting to look like yeah, what about Diana Ross or whatever, which, right. was, which was crazy. But it was more, from all accounts, it was for so many accounts, it was more about not wanting to, to resemble Joe Jackson than anything else. He, he had a, a disgust for exactly his father. Stacey. Did, Brian, did he hate that's, his that's, father? Did he hate his father? No, absolutely no. Absolutely well, not. Oprah Absolutely in, not. A, in a television, uh, uh, you know, 50 million people watched as he told uh, Oprah Winfrey how he felt about his father. He never made that a secret, he was, Brian. He was upset. Stacy, there's no Look, question he, he was upset. If he didn't upset. hate his father, then why was his father prohibited from being around his children? He did not oh, but that's not so either. That's not control. either. That's not true, I believe he that. He didn't want anyone. He didn't want anyone to have control of his children. He was so protective of them. You know, people say, how you is know, it that Brian, these you kids know that's have turned not what out I'm so talking good? About. You know that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is Joe could have no parental rights over the children, mm -hmm. and if Grandma was going to raise the children, Grandpa was not supposed to be around. So, then so that it? to me... There, okay. there is nothing in that will which says any such thing. There is nothing in any of Michael's writings everywhere which says any such things. He was really very close to his dad. He helped support his dad. He took care of him. And when Michael needed something, when Michael was in trouble, guess who he turned to? His dad. Well, he did turn to his dad toward the end of his life. Why? And Brian is absolutely right about that. But another thing he mentioned, though, that... Why didn't you know, he turn to his dad? Well, protector. Joe was the big, bad man. He could protect him from anything. And, and remember... Before Michael died, just before he died, he was very paranoid. He thought, and, and, and it, whether that is true or not, he thought someone was out to kill him. And he told his family Who that. Who did he think was trying to kill him? That is a mystery to me. Uh, maybe Brian well, knows. There's, there's a little bit, a little bit. Ever since he bought the Beatles catalog, Joy, he thought that people were out to try and do him in. It's kind of like it was this golden glow which everybody wanted. And he was afraid that people wanted it. And they tried to get it from him. He felt that all the charges which were brought against him were efforts to try and get that Beatles catalog. It was uh -huh. really something but, which preoccupied but you know, Brian, him. You have to factor in the drug abuse because when people have opiate addiction, they become very paranoid and they become preoccupied with things. Like maybe this is why he was preoccupied with being killed. Maybe this is why he was preoccupied with his nose. I mean, maybe he was trying to eradicate the image of his father. Maybe he, maybe his nose was all he could see and control, so he became preoccupied with it. Maybe he had, he had body dysmorphia, but most certainly the paranoia that's a part of drug abuse got incorporated into all of his decision making. And also, Bethany, aside you, you have, his winning you have a good state, point, but yes. You have a good point, but here's the thing. The bottom line of Michael Jackson's life is that these drugs did him in. It's the cause of his death. Let me and, ask you something, Brian. The, the, it's just, it's not something which yeah. anyone ever wanted here. Of course, but you know, here we have a guy who was on drugs, a guy who did uh, chisel his nose down, uh, a lot of other bizarre behavior, hanging the kid over the balcony, to name but one thing. The sleepovers with kids is not exactly kosher in a lot of circles. And does Joe Jackson see any connection between Michael's bizarre behavior and the way he was brought up? Or does he just deny any responsibility for the behavior? Well, I think Joe wants to take the credit for Michael's life and Michael's success. Oh, the credit. And Michael's behavior. You betcha, because Joe is someone who said, I'm going to help make this man who he is. And he worked his entire life to help his family. There is no family in America that can boast this kind of success. 
They are the first family of American music. Janet is, is just about the greatest performer you ever want to see. Latoya is exquisite. And Jermaine, gosh, I got to hand it to Jermaine. He is really, really good, and right. all the kids well, are good. Okay, and Stacey. I give credit to Joe. Okay, Stacy. Well, first of all, I disagree. I think Reby Jackson is the best performer outside of okay, Michael in that family. Yeah. But anyway. Good, um, good point, <laughs> Stacy. Good point. But, good but, point. You, but, you know, he mentioned Joe pushing him and Joe saying that, you know, he, he, he beat Joe. I mean, Joe beat Michael because he wanted Michael to work hard. Joe, Joe Jackson told me himself that the reason why Michael stopped performing with his brothers is because his brothers refused to work nearly as hard as Michael Jackson did. And, and that's, that's what separated Michael Jackson. Michael worked hard and he insulated himself because he wanted, again, like uh, Bethany says, to get away from that Joe Jackson well, he, influence. He, there's no denying that he was a huge talent. I mean, one of the biggest stars of the 20th century in pop music. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you can't yeah. deny that. Absolutely. Whether Joe Jackson pushed him or not, I think he still would have been a huge star because he had the talent. Uh, what, what, Bethany, what about these sleepovers that we hear about all the time? I mean, he was a, absolved or, uh, you know, there was no proof that anything went on in those cases. You know, he, he I did all these parties, and Jermaine told me that that was part of his upbringing, too, that they would always have sleepovers and a lot of kids over. What do you make of all that? I don't think that's because it was a part of his upbringing. I think that that's because where his interests lie. And one of the things that we know about adult, adults who are preoccupied with children is that when they act inappropriately with the child, they see their own face in the face of the child and they give the child the love they imagine that they never had. So in other words, it's a disorder of identification. They see their own face in the face of the child. So. So Michael Jackson's feeling of himself being a child and then his preoccupation with children, it was like him falling in love with himself. Going back to that earliest mm -hmm. developmental stage, eroticizing yes, it, I, I, making I it more than it really was. Okay. Yes. I, I, I got to disagree. Right, last I got to disagree with that. Brian, go ahead. Just, that's it? Okay. I think that, I think Michael really like to portray children as the heroes of the world. I think that's what he wanted to do. Okay, well, you can agree to disagree, and we had a very interesting conversation. Thank you, everyone, very much. We'll be right back.